The math formula question allows students to easily enter a complex math formula. There is a powerful formula engine behind our math questions, which allows authors to create complex questions with ease and has advanced validation capabilities. In this video, we're going to see how to author a math formula question. So first of all, let's see how does a math formula question look like. What we have here is the stimulus and below is the LaTeX area. Students can enter their responses directly in this area using our math keyboards. Or we can create a little different example with the response boxes. So we start with the stimulus. We need the students to enter a response which is equal to the expression in the stimulus. Because we have a math expression, we can use our math editor here in the rich text panel. When you click on the math editor, a new window will pop up where you can easily enter a math expression with the built-in keyboard. You can see here, many keyboards with various symbols are available. Now we click OK and our expression is beautifully displayed beside our text. Alternatively, you can enter a math expression in the LaTeX template markup area. LaTeX is a markup language used for publication of scientific documents and in Learnocity we use it to render complex math and chemistry expressions. If you're not familiar with LaTeX, we recommend you check out our doc article on this. You will also find many useful shortcuts there. So getting back to this area. This is a LaTeX only area, which means we can only enter raw LaTeX and response boxes. So here's an example. We add a fraction here, then multiply by a whole number, then equal sign and response. We have just added an expression and an empty response box. To add a response box, we just type double curly brackets and response. OK, let's stick to this example and remove this, the expression in the stimulus. Let's set validation. We scroll down and here we see validation section where you can select the scoring method and enable extra options depending on what sort of responses you want to validate as correct. In our example, the correct response is 1 over 2, but it can be written as a decimal fraction or even as a percentage. And we want all these options to be accepted. This is why we're going to select Equip Symbolic Scoring Method, which allows us to validate everything that is symbolically equivalent to 1 over 2, no matter the format. In the Value field, we need to insert the correct response. But there is one trick here. If you have entered anything in the LaTeX area, you must enter it in the Value field as well. So here the correct response is 1 over 2, but we also have a LaTeX area content. So we enter the whole expression here and add a response. We insert only one of the few possible correct responses, 1 over 2. And because we are using Equif Symbolic, anything equivalent to 1 over 2 will be also accepted. Now let's check different responses in preview. All correct. There are a few scoring methods with different extra options and the choice always depends on what validation results you want to achieve. To learn more about each scoring method, visit our documentation. 